Due to the overwhelming popularity of the Google Earth environment, many organizations are now creating KML and KMZ files that can be taken directly into Google Earth. We're going to show you how to bring KML and KMZ files from the internet into your Google Earth environment. To start, I'm going to launch the browser. I'm using Chrome here. And I'm going directly to the Google Earth site, which is just earth.google.com. And from this site, I can take and come over to the navigation on the left, and I'm going to click on the gallery link. Now, the gallery is where Google has, has taken and housed many different KML files that you can come in and download. Now, I'm going to click on the educational link here on the left to find a subcategory. And what you'll notice here, I've got all different types of Google Earth files that I can download and bring into the Google Earth environment. So I'm just going to take and bring in this real-time earthquakes piece and you notice where it says open in Google Earth. I'm going to click on that and again you'll notice that down in my browser in Chrome it's going to handle it as a downloadable file. I can click on this. If you're using a little a different browser it may handle it a little differently but it sh still should give you the option to click click on that and again what you'll notice is I've got a new legend here on the uh, left hand side I've also got some um, real-time earthquakes now I'm not happy with the organization of my panels here so I'm going to minimize the search panel and the layers panel to give me uh, some additional room now this is another file that I downloaded earlier I don't want this on any longer so I'm going to uncheck it to turn it off I'm going to click on the minus sign to contract that file and now this is the only one that is open. The great thing about this particular file is that not only do I have several points but I also have a legend to show that if I see a red dot here which I do here in Nevada what that indicates is that this earthquake happened in the past hour and as I go out I can take I can look at this and if I click on it this individual point here, what it will tell me is is that this happened at um, 2153, which was shortly uh, about 30 minutes ago from the time that I'm doing this. So that's how you bring in a file from the internet. There are many other sites, and my suggestion is that if you're looking for a particular site, go to Google and you type in the topic and you follow it with a KML or KMZ file. You may have to look a little bit, but the likelihood that a file exists out there is becoming uh, more and more uh, possible.